Hello everyone, this is Isabel. It's ITW 2022 day two. We're still going strong. And today I'm joined by one of the most coolest young lady of the industry. Yes, most coolest, it is a word. Uh, Maxi Reynolds, she's founder and CEO of Subsea Cloud. Maxi? The mo one of the most coolest ladies <laughs> of the industry. You. Welcome to my hotshot. I've been called worse. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for having me. It's nice to be here. Thanks for coming in this great day. And I know I'm sure you're very busy. So thank you for taking time to talk to me. No, anything for you. <laughs> <laughs> so Maxi, uh, for people out there that don't know your company, what you're all about. I know it's a super cool company, really cool technology. Please tell us more. So what we do is to take traditional data centers and put them subsea. And what that does is it eliminates the electrically driven cooling. And so 40% of the power consumption and 40% of the CO2 emissions. So it becomes very modular, agile, rapid and, and green, essentially. Um, and I think probably the coolest thing about it is sort of the simplicity and the utility together. It's such a simple design. It, ha it just offers so much to the data center industry. So your company is all about sustainability. It's a yes. big topic for me uh, and, for, and for the industry more and more. So what is the one thing that needs to happen to ensure a sustainable digital infrastructure fabric? Yeah, um, a few things, I think. But probably the first is I think the industry as a whole needs to become more innovation ready, need to be more accepting of the things that can actually help from nuclear to hydrogen to you know the whole span the whole range and sort of not be caught up with the conventional because there's a delta between a utility delta between the current state of the art and what is possible so i think accepting that and working towards implementing that is probably the best that we can do of course so you're young you're a young millennial and I wish I was at your age again. <laughs> but you've achieved so much already. You know, you founded your company, you're a CEO, so you're managing it as well, your growth. How did you achieve that so quickly? So, you know, I was looking for, I was looking to solve a problem. I think that it, it's not title driven, not at my company anyway. Uh, I happen to suit the position in terms of personality and also just in terms of focus and drive. I understand the company, but the title in and of itself, I don't think is that important. It is just find a problem that you can solve and set out to solve it. That is actually the best thing that you can do. The title doesn't really matter. And if you can work for a company that's doing something like that, like mine, or if you can start your own, it doesn't matter, just solve a problem. So for young people watching us today, yeah. what is was it the one thing you want to do, to, to, you want to tell them about our industry? Maybe you can tell them. <laughs> I think I would say that, again, you know, look for a problem that you can solve. And this industry, our industry, is uh, the backbone of the future. There's not much that's going to happen in the next, you know, 50 to 100 years that doesn't come through our industry. So. It's very future driven uh, and I think that's probably the best reason to come into it. Um, again, find a problem within the industry or that the industry can help solve and come in. That's utility important. It is a very exciting industry and the young people need to know how exciting it is. I would, I would actually sort of go back on the answer a little bit and say that, that it starts with us as an industry sort of being more proactive. I think the stereotype of our industry is that it's filled up, full of old men, old white men actually, um, who and it's hierarchical and not much gets done. And whilst that's true in areas, it's not, it's not completely true. It's not the whole picture. We are the backbone of the future. I, I would definitely say that. And you're part of that change. I'm part of that change. Huh? Yes. 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 So there is change. It's there happening change. slowly yes. but surely. And it's our job to, it really is our job to like promote that. We have to be proponents of that change and get the word out and things like this. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah. Thank you so much, Maxi. I knew it was going to be an, a lovely interview. So thank you for taking time out of your very busy schedule. And let's try to do that again somewhere exotic. Ooh, like Hawaii. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hawaii. <laughs> very good. Thank you so much, Maxi. Everyone, thank you for watching. And until my next hotshot. <laughs>